Welcome back, everybody. I forgot to tell you about the rainfall. No, we, we didn't get any rainfall. In fact, we're at zero. Uh, the month of October now has 2.27, a little bit below, but the year 27.85. That's what we've received since January. We're still a solid five and a half inches below. So we got to get something going here, folks, before the end of the year. Uh, meanwhile, some people are having fun. I want to thank my uh, viewer, uh, Stephen Beal. He sent us a photo from uh, Frostburg, Maryland, where the trees are changing colors already, even though there's no snow on the ground. That's because of the cold nights. So they're beginning to enjoy fall foliage up there. When I was a kid, that's all I ever got about fall, because in South Texas, it's all mesquite trees and we suches, right? Anyway, southerly winds are now in effect, and as a result, that's going to be part of the warming trend that we're getting. No more nice north wind. It's that south wind that'll pump up the moisture and get us a little bit on the warmer side for the next couple of days. As we go all the way through a Wednesday and in, but into Thursday, we'll still get that south wind. And right about here, there's a tail right, right there. You see that dip? There's a little bitty frontal system that's coming through, but I'm not sure it's going to amount to anything. And remember yesterday, I wasn't sure if it was going to rain. I really think it's not going to rain. We're going to get some cloud cover out of it, but uh, the front is very weak by the time it gets into our region. Even though uh, we're getting down into the 40s tonight, that'll be nice. Uh, some 30s out in far west Texas where it's much drier. And tomorrow we'll be up into the 80s, you know, from 77 to 82. We'll be in the 80s uh, pretty much everywhere. If you're going uh, north or traveling over the weekend, uh, you should have some fairly comfortable weather. I mean, uh, I'm thinking October, it should be cool, rainy maybe? No, not getting that at all. Oops, let me back up. I, well, I forgot. I got to show you this. This is a tropical storm on the west coast of Mexico. It's going to be called, I forgot. Anyway, Norma. Norma. No, Norma is the name of the storm. It is developing and it'll be a category two when it runs into Cabo San Lucas right here at the tip of the peninsula. Then the remnants start rolling this way. Remember I said yesterday about October 25th? October 25th, the remnants of that storm and another big storm coming out of the Rockies may have something to do with our rainfall total. So we'll be watching it pretty carefully. Meanwhile, out in the Atlantic, there is um, Sean out here in the middle of the Atlantic. It's going to develop, but as you know, by this time of the year, they start taking that right turn. So it's not a major problem as far as the mainland is concerned. Obviously, the folks in the Caribbean got to watch for that. So high pressure is building into the eastern states, giving them some very nice weather. We're waiting for that next storm system. As I mentioned, that frontal system will pass through here about Thursday, but it's not going to amount to much of anything in terms of a nice cold front. The tomorrow morning, 59 up to 82 in Lavaca, getting down to 51 in Cuero and 84 in the afternoon. So a little bit warmer as we get into Friday, and that's when the next front comes through for a dry but relatively warm weekend. That's your seven day forecast reminding everybody that we do have a QR code. We'd love for you to scan that 